And we could be seeing dangerous mercury levels increasing in our waterways. And researchers are trying to figure out where that mercury is coming from. And how they're doing it may surprise you. ABC4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Garner is at the Great Salt Lake with that story. Kate? The research coming out of Weber State University is focusing on Great Salt Lake, but they say their research can be applied to any lake across the state. Part of the reason they're focusing on Great Salt Lake is because it's home to millions of one of the perfect species to study, the western spotted orb weaver. On Antelope Island, these spiders are everywhere. So they're a type of orb weaver. If you've read Charlotte's Web, she's an orb weaver. So it's that kind of a spider. Wendy Wilson says they won't be around for much longer this year. They lay their eggs um, and then the adults die. And then the way that the species exists is through um, the eggs. They overwinter and then in the spring, new babies will hatch. So we use the spiders out at the Great Salt Lake as a way to monitor mercury contamination that's in the lake itself. Rebecca Brasso is leading the research out of WSU. In the Great Salt Lake, that there are elevated concentrations of mercury in the lake. The question is, where does it come from? You may wonder how spiders may help answer that question. The spiders are eating things like flies, brine flies that are coming directly up out of the lake. And therefore, we can use the spiders to help us understand how mercury moves out of the lake into the food web and then anything else that might eat those spiders themselves, how much mercury is flowing through. Brasso says mercury can lead to infertility and other complications in animals like birds that eat the spiders. And it may not be just animals that are affected. Mercury works in the exact same way in all of these water bodies. It starts at the bottom of the food web and makes its way up into these predators, which something like a bluegill or a bass, these are all predators. And then we think about human consumption. So while spiders are the subject of the study, they're not necessarily the focus. So yeah, why we care about spiders is more, spiders are indicators of what's going on in the environment. Brasso says the study will continue for years as they have to collect data over a large span of time to really get a good idea of what is happening with the mercury levels in the lake. Reporting from Great Salt Lake, Cade Garner, ABC4 News.